Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. How are you all doing today? Here's your news report, stimulus check update, and stimulus package update for Thursday, March 18th. This morning, I will be discussing the status of the third stimulus check in this video, as well as what you need to know before you file your 2020 taxes. Please make sure to watch until the end of this video because I will be going over how soon you could receive a fourth stimulus check and additional Social Security benefits. All right, everyone, so the third round of stimulus checks are in the process of being sent out to millions of eligible Americans. And according to the Internal Revenue Service, about 85% of Americans will receive an economic impact payment. Many Americans have already received their $1,400 stimulus check. Well, the timing of your third stimulus check deposit may depend on which bank you have. The IRS has officially sent out its first batch of relief payments. And if you are a customer of Wells Fargo or JP Morgan Chase, you may have to wait a little bit longer to receive your $1,400 check. In a statement, NACHA, which is the organization that manages electronic transfers, announced that the payments should be available to all recipients on March 17th. The NACHA rules require the banks and credit unions to make the funds available to the account holders by 9 a.m. local time on the settlement date. And again, in this case, it's March 17th. The organization also said that the funds should be clear into accounts by 8.30 a.m. on Wednesday, though the outlet also reported that some banks, like the startup Current, use balance sheets of their own to credit the funds into its customers' account as early as Friday. Chase Bank updated their website on March 12th to let customers know that they should expect stimulus payments to be available to most Chase customers as soon as March 17th. When we received the money from the IRS on Wednesday, we were immediately deposited into our customers' accounts. The Chief Communications Officer for Chase said in a statement, Wells Fargo also wrote in a Twitter post that the customers eligible to receive a direct deposit of the stimulus check may expect it as soon as March 17, 2021. The bank told CBS that they would waive any overdraft fees that occur as a result of the wait for these funds to clear. Our goal is to support our customers and we will proactively reverse outstanding Wells Fargo fees, including overdraft fees for those who are qualifying negative ending balances when their stimulus payment is deposited. Wells Fargo said in an emailed statement, Bank of America has yet to release a statement specifically saying that they are holding stimulus payments until March 17th, but many customers of Bank of America have expressed their frustration over delayed stimulus checks on Twitter. Some users have reported that they've spoken to Bank of America customer service representatives who have said payments won't be available until March 17th. The Bank of America website also says that all direct deposit payments are posted to open accounts on the effective date set by the Treasury, which is March 17th. If it's not your bank delaying your stimulus check, it could be something else. The IRS says the bank can reject your deposit, which could happen if your bank information is incorrect or if your bank account has been closed. Also, if you've moved this past year and did not update the IRS with your new address, the post office will return your payment to the IRS. To resolve either of these situations, you will have to check the Get My Payment tool from the IRS website, which will tell you where your payment is. If you see a notice that says, need more information, your payment is delayed because it was returned to the IRS and you'll need to provide the agency with new information to receive your check. According to CNBC, earlier this month, 11 Senate Democrats urged President Joe Biden to pass recurring direct payments and increase unemployment benefits. It is definitely possible that another round of stimulus checks will be sent out to many Americans this year. The American Rescue Plan includes expanded child tax credit. This could mean more millions for millions of Americans across the U.S. The new child tax credit rules brings a credit up to $3,600 per child under six and $3,000 per child up to the age of 17 over the course of a year. Payments will begin phasing out for individuals who make more than $75,000 a year and married couples who earn more than $150,000 a year. Payments will, happen Payments will happen periodically from July through December. That's the end of the video, everyone. I hope you found this video helpful. Please make sure to enter the $50 Amazon gift card giveaway by subscribing to my channel, liking this video, and then commenting below. Thank you and have a very, very blessed day. Last Thursday, I spoke about the pain and disruption this pandemic has caused this past year. I also discussed the optimistic springtime that lies before us. The brighter horizon is not a product of a partisan bill that was signed last week or an administration that was sworn in less than two months ago. It was built by the American people 
and supported by the five historic and completely bipartisan bills that Congress passed just last year. Later on Thursday, the nation heard remarks from President Biden. The president spoke in a heartfelt way about grief and loss. But his vision for the days ahead was badly lacking. Along a number of crucial dimensions, the Biden administration keeps trying to rewrite recent history and overrule science. Let's take vaccinations. The president's speech tried to reinforce the myth that his administration inherited a shambles on vaccines, set goals that nobody believed were achievable, and has met those goals against all odds. Madam President, this is just not true. The president said, quote, I set a goal that many of you said was way over the top, but the benchmark of 100 million vaccines in 100 days was not some audacious goal that was met with great skepticism. A million shots per day was just the pace that the Biden administration actually inherited. We averaged more than a million shots per day the week of the inauguration. We totaled more than 1.5 million the day the president was sworn in. The groundwork we laid last year is proving an historic success. Where the Biden administration is continuing to help streamline distribution, they should, of course, get some credit. But their effort to sprint to the front of this year-long campaign should not fool anybody. The president announced another supposedly audacious goal on Thursday that all adults in all 50 states should be eligible to schedule vaccinations by May 1st. Here's the problem. Dr. Fauci said a month ago we'd be there by April. Quote, I would imagine by the time we get to April, that will be what I would call open season. Namely, virtually everybody and anybody in any category could start to get vaccinated. That was Dr. Fauci's prediction last month. So the president's announcement of May 1st wasn't ambitious good news. It was actually a walk back. Something tells me that if the last administration had contradicted Dr. Fauci and pushed a vaccine milestone back a whole month, we might have heard about it from the media. Then there is the K through 12 schooling. For months, science has confirmed that schools are remarkably safe and do not surge transmission of the virus. This administration's own experts amplified this before liberal politics got in the way. In early February, President Biden 